Once again, my name is Enoch. And I want to say I greet you in the name of the Lord. Today, I want to ask you a very simple question. How could you go to sleep? See, somebody is wondering, why should I not sleep? Why should you sleep after what you have done? After the atrocities that you have committed? After the evil you perpetrated, you sat down on a table where they discussed how to destroy a whole nation. You are beating your chest that there's nothing anybody can do. And having done that, you will go home and sleep. How could you be able to sleep? How do you do it? Because there's no sleep for the wicked. The wicked does not have a place of rest. So how do you do it? As the boss in your place of work, how do you do evil and you go to sleep? Somebody had invested into the business you're doing and he had entrusted the business into your hands. And you are destroying that business gradually. Every day you go to office, all your plans and thoughts are how to still kill and destroy and go and start a business of your own by destroying the business of the man that entrusted his business and investments into your hands. How could you sleep doing that? You see that your soul has been sold to the devil that even God cannot help you. You cannot be redeemed again. How could you do that? How could you promise somebody marriage, somebody you know you will not marry, and deceive that person for years? How could you go to sleep? The children, you are claiming to be your husband's children, are not actually his children. And some people, we get to know this truth at very critical stages of their lives that nothing could be done. I give us an example. A man who was naturalized in the United States of America was traveling back from Africa after he has fired for his son. You know, the son was born out of wedlock because he has a family and he has all his children in the U.S. with him. So he has fought for this other son, who was now a grown-up. So, on getting to the embassy, they asked them to go and do their DNA test. And the man got the results, and he lost his mind. The boy was never his son. No, the boy looks so much like him. How do you sleep as a woman? Knowing fully well that the man that is toiling there at night is not the biological father. You have brought somebody's else's pregnancy and push it to the man. How can you go to sleep with that? You go to the church, carry a microphone, but at your place of work, if there's another name, other name for the devil, that is you. That is you. And how can you go to bed and sleep with all these bodies in your mind? You cheat people with their money. You do cut frauds. You ride fantastic vehicles. You have bought big houses. How could you sleep with all these atrocities that you are doing? You sit down as a privileged staff in the place. You destroy the people's lives and businesses. You manipulate appointments and you arrange. You just turn everything upside down. And you still carry the Bible. You still kneel down on your knees to pray. And how, could you, how can you sleep destroying people's lives? Because you are sitting on a position that is not forever. Nothing in life is going to last forever. How 
could you do that? How can you make other people to cry, shed tears, you see them like they're shedding tears, and you are happy? How could you go to sleep? You think you can cause trouble in a country and run away because you have visa or you have private jets? Do you have anything called conscience? That is why you see politicians killing people. How can you kill human beings like you and go to bed? How can you sleep under that situation? I mean, we should ask ourselves some questions. People walk under you. Anytime they want to live, they live in sorrow and in sadness. And you are happy, you rejoice. Append your signature to destroy people's lives and careers. How can you sleep? You are molesting little, little children. You are engaged in drug trafficking. Engaging, you know, child trafficking. You are engaged in prostitution. You recruit people, lie to them, they will get jobs, but you traffic them for prostitution to be harlots and prostitutes. And you carry proceeds of this money, proceeds of kidnapping. And you visit it upon your children. And you think your children will survive or succeed in life? How did you get to this point of your life? Where did you miss it? Where did you lose it? I'm calling you back home. Check your heart. Check yourself. Try and repent and address these issues. The Bible is very clear about it. A sinner will not go unpunished. Mercy forgives you your sin. But mercy might not be able to take away the consequences of what you have done. And I give you some instances. You have given a bastard to your husband to father. The husband does not know. You are asking God to have mercy on you. You have to confess. Two things will either happen. One might take it in good faith. Might not take it in good faith. But whatever the result will be, by keeping on to deceive the man, is elongating the day of your judgment. You have lived in lies all the days of your life. But a day you should be able to open up and be able to tell the man, I'm sorry, this is what I've done. Even if it will be the end of your marriage, it's better to save your future than to destroy the man and wait until the man will carry gun and shoot you. Because anytime a man knows that have that kind of information, it's not a good day in his life. You have stolen money to start a business. The people you stole money from, you destroyed their business to start the one you are doing. How long will that business last? Ask yourself these basic questions. You are working in the place and you are destroying people's lives by proximity to leadership, proximity to the MD, proximity to whatever. That proximity will not be forever because those people will not also live forever. What happens to your children by the seed you have sown today? And how do you sleep well with all these packages on your neck? I mean, it's a question for us. How do you sleep? How do you sleep? Knowing that some other people are not sleeping, they are crying because of your action. You have killed their breadwinner. You have, killed, you have sucked a whole village in the name of religion. How do you sleep? Don't forget, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, you will reap. I am just a messenger. If you want to sleep well, act well, do well, and be well. Thank you very much.